Jesse from Fall Off the Map here. I'm standing on Ross Island in Antarctica. Behind me is the Ross Ice Shelf. It's, uh, it's springtime here in Antarctica. It's starting to warm up. The days are getting nicer, though we're getting a lot more wind. Um, beautiful out here. Desolate. Amazing. Look at that. Look at that. So one of the things I wanted to talk about is equipment, camera gear. Um, this is a ridiculously harsh environment for using digital cameras, cell phone cameras, things like that. But um, I wanted to give it a try. I wanted to push things past their uh, recommendations and see what survives and what doesn't. Um, so far, the best performer has been my GoPro, uh, GoPro 3 Silver. Um, it'll work when nothing else does, and as long as I keep a hand warmer in my pocket uh, to keep the battery from uh, getting too cold, um, I get pretty, pretty decent performance out of it. Um, the most disappointing has been my Canon cameras. I bought, uh, supposed to be a pretty good point and shoot, the Canon G7X, um, and also a little Canon Elf, just a cheapy as a backup. The G7X, it survived all of 20 minutes off of the uh, plane. Um, granted, it was a crazily cold day. It was 40 below ambient temperature when we got off the plane. But I didn't expect it to, to give up the ghost. I figured, okay, the, the battery will die, the LCD will go wonky, uh, but once it warms up, it'll survive. Not the case. And Canon's... Uh, customer service was really, really, really disappointing. Um, the Canon Elf has survived a little better, surprisingly, for a much cheaper camera. It's, uh, it's got some problems. Um, memory cards also have problems in this extreme cold, and it, it doesn't like to transfer files now. The LCD screen's got some uh, quirks to it from the cold, and uh, it's got some what looks like moisture inside the lens from going back and forth from uh, cold to warm. And the the lens motors and focus don't always work, but it's still functioning. It's not completely dead like the G, G7X. Um, my iPhone, iPhone 5S, has also been a survivor. Um, occasionally, videos recorded in extreme cold don't want to transfer. Um, just, again, quirks of uh, the, the climate out here, but... Um, the battery's still alive and kicking, and it's still doing pretty good. So, um, yeah, Canon's no, um, GoPro's definitely, and uh, surprisingly, the iPhone. Um, I've also bought a little uh, Zoom H1 for recording audio, um, because a lot of times the winds are just too strong out here for recording any, any audio on my camera. Um, so I can put the Zoom in my pocket. And yeah, I'll get a little rustling, a little weird noises from the pocket, but at least I can hear myself. Um, so, it's so a little report in Antarctica um, pushing pushing digital cameras well beyond their their limits to see what survives and what does not.